Not too bad. How about yourself, man? Pretty good. Um, you guys are about a week and a half into the tour. Like, how's it been treating you so far? It's uh, it's been awesome. Uh, uh, We're one of like the softer bands on the bill, so no brag, having no bragging rights on compliments as well. Uh, beautiful ones are solid. It's it's a solid show. Yeah. Well, you mentioned the stores so far. So that was a pretty big tour for you. Guys. It was, yes. I mean, I mean, I know you guys didn't play the floor days. We got souvenirs. We're stair break band as well. But I mean, how was that tour for you as person? Did it help? I mean, did you get a lot of fans for it? It was. Uh, I I mean, it was great exposure for the band. Um, it's it was the first time playing bigger venues for us and uh, dealing with barricades and stuff like that. So we're we're not really used to that. We're used to more playing churches, bars, houses, garages, bedrooms, you name it, we've done it, we've done it all. Um, but it was great. We've yeah. known the story so far for a while and it's been great to see them grow and to have them take us out. Um, we've been very grateful for that. It was an awesome uh, experience and opportunity for our time. And I interviewed Walter from Ryan out at that show when they played in Tampa and he was saying how he's like he loves playing these shows but he was getting kind of irritated at the, the high stages and the barricades. Yeah, I was, it's funny, I was actually talking to Walter about that uh, just last night and uh, how this tour with smaller clubs is, is more of uh, my vibe. It makes it more comfortable for me. It makes, I like to interact with the, uh, the crowd as much as possible. I'm, I'm all over the place. If anyone's ever seen Hard Tarp show before, I'm anywhere but the stage. Uh, so having with the source of our tour, I was, I was still making it work, you know, but yeah, it's one of those things when you're on the stage and the kids are like 10 feet away from you in a barricade, you're like, okay, how am I supposed to entertain and make this work? But we got we got through it. We got through it. All right, your self-titled full length has been out for about, about a year and a half now. Like, is there any plans for new music? Yeah, actually, am I allowed to say, can I tell secrets? Yeah. Is that okay? We're going to be dropping off this tour a few days early. Um, we'll start recording March 18th uh, for our first uh, Pure Noise uh, debut. We're going to be doing a new full length record. Um, which will be out soon, very soon. It's gonna be a quick, quick process in the next few months. We got a lot, a lot of work to do. Um, it's gonna be uh, a little bit more, I, I guess, on the serious side. Um, a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be heavy. It's, um, we're, yeah, we're excited. It's, uh, it, it's definitely different. Um, there's. I don't know. It, it's hard. That's what. Yeah. You know, when everyone's like, "Can you describe what heart to heart sounds like?" It's hard because we all have our own uh, musical influences. When we come together, and we put together. We don't try and write um, a certain style of music. We, yeah. you know. And I hate honestly. I, 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 I don't think heart to heart's a pop punk band at all. So, it's, but there's we still like pop punk influence and stuff. But it's, it's, it's gonna be awesome. We've been jamming these new songs constantly in the band, working on this record, and we're definitely vibing. So. And I think it's coming up pretty soon, your one year anniversary of Pure Noise. That's right, like that's how, right. How has it been working with you guys? It's been great. Um, Jake is awesome. The rock, uh, They have a solid roster. All the bands are very active, um, which makes it, makes it easy. Um, it's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, I'm excited to actually put something out on Pure Noise now so we can officially be a Pure Noise band because we have yet to do that. So um, after that, Next time we interview, you can ask me the same question. I'll have a better answer for you. All right. What's the what's the best concert you've ever attended that you did? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Poison in the Well on Deftone at the San Jose State. I was 16 years old, and my mom. Uh, I had to beg my mom to go. The homie's older brother drove us, and it was. I mean, you can just imagine. Uh, Deftones are crazy live. I would love to see Poison the Well. Oh, uh, Poison the Well. Both of those bands are. Mile times, it's a mile time band for me, so. Well, the next question is going to be, what's the one band that you wish you could tour with? Boys of the Boys of the Yeah, hands down. Boys of the What are some of your favorite music releases from the past year? Um, Stick Up Kids' Future Fire is incredible. Uh, Defeater, the new Defeater is great. Um, the new AFI is awesome. I also bump, uh, it's, it's, I bump a lot of R&B as well, and it's always in my mix. The guys used to hate on me for it, now they're like, what's the R&B all the time, so I'm mixing up. There's been a lot of speculation and rumors saying that Heart to Heart are supposedly going to be on the board commission. Can you think anything to come on that? Um, I, that would be amazing. I haven't heard anything myself, but uh, I mean, that's the dream. It would be like going to the Super Bowl. Uh, that's the goal. We'll see.
see. I guess we'll see what happens. What do you think of the lineup? So much? I think it's great. I think it's a solid lineup. Um, I think they still may be announcing bands, but we're straight from the path on there. You got state champs. You got Story So Far on main stage. Uh, saves the day. I mean, it's gonna be a killer. Man, I'm most excited for every time I die. Uh, every time I die, they just got announced this last week. That's gonna be killer. After this tour is finished, what's next for us? Uh, recording. Uh, our main focus right now is this record, it's, which is very difficult. We never uh, really had to work on a record while being on tour, so it's a first for us. Uh, but we're really just focusing on this record at, at the moment, and uh, we'll see what comes up after that. Right, last question. What, personally, what does Heart to Heart mean? Heart to Heart means to me, uh, the reason I came up with the name Heart to Heart is we, uh, I, I I've said this in interviews before and stuff, I hate the word fans. Uh, Heart to Heart doesn't have any fans, we make friends. Everything I sing about are real, painful, personal experiences that I, it took a while for me to stand up there and be able to share with people. Um, so if I can connect to one person and I had a show and, uh, in any way, uh, my job is done. So I just, the whole base behind our band is just keeping everything personal. Nothing sugar-coated, I don't, nothing I sing about is fake or made up, it's all, everything's from real experience. Stay posted for this new record. Check us out at hearttoheartca.com, uh, Twitter, hearttoheartca, Instagram, all that. Um, new record soon. Awesome. This is Brandon from Rise Above the Anchor. Make sure to check out Heart to Heart's self-titled album and be on the look for announcements from the band for the new record.